Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my Let's Play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. We have just finished up a war with France in which we managed to annex French Indochina and the French Antilles. It's now the late 1920s, we're at peace, and we're looking forward to rebuilding the Navy and maybe experimenting with some of that newfangled Navy avi naval aviation. And that is the end of that. We have won the war with France. We got the French Antilles. We got the entirety of French Indochina. Um, we are apparently bankrupt budget-wise, which is a slight problem. Although part of it will be fixed by recalling all of these ships that are currently overseas back to the East Coast. Except, of course, for the ones that we actually want to be overseas. And we'll be decommissioning stuff that we don't want, finally. I'll figure foreign stations out in a minute. For now, I'm just going to recall everything and get it reorganized. Fifteen thousand I'm losing next month, huh? That's a lot. I think it'll stabilize as I move ships back and put them in mothballs and such. Hold on, did I ever... Uh, well, we're slightly under. We did get a director on... Otherwise, I think it's fine. Oh, wow. I really was being dumb when I designed this. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired today. Okay. Um... Okay. Do we leave these on even? Probably not, right? Like They're just not called for anymore. And we can save a few hundred tons on the weight as well. Okay, yeah, that'll be much better, actually. <laughs> Easily worth the thousand to fix those problems. I don't know what I was doing. But the final design with those changes will be way more functional. We're losing 12,000 this month. All right, well, the battleship force is all good. I'm probably going to keep about 12 in permanent service, just based on what Germany, Britain, Russia, Japan have. But we can't commission, uh, and I'd be scrapping probably the Oregons, Maybe Delaware soonish, but we can't do that yet because the Illinois aren't finished yet. Um, we need a new battle cruiser. I mean, because considering how many Britain has, we really need at least six if we're going to fight Britain. Um, ooh, people are building carriers. Yeah, we're going to need to build a carrier. Several, that is, but yeah. We need to replace our heavy cruisers. Well, no, just the one. We need one new one. Um, the one place we're over is light cruisers. I meant they have 12. We currently have 17 in service. The entirety of, well, okay. The entirety of the Olympia class, USS Olympia, Minneapolis, Des Moines, and Denver, gone. And Tacoma, the last survivor of her class, is also going to have to go. 
Man, she was laid down as back as 1906, huh? She fought the British Navy. Twice, although... Yeah, really that one battle on Slow Bay is the only one where she was really stuck in in her whole career. Alright. Those five, gone. Foreign stations tonnage, minus 33,000. Uh, speed here, kind of useless at this point. Gone. Alrighty. I am assigning two Brooklyns and four Junos to foreign station duty immediately. Which is actually, I think, overkill, but is pretty much was the fleet plan to start with, so I'm just going to stick with it. We're still losing so much money. We're going to put all of the 12-inch gunships... Are you guys moving, or... Yeah, okay. Well, the one that's already on the west coast I'm going to put in reserve. Along with the Saratoga-class battle cruisers. Brooklyn's and Junos are all good. I'm going to put these all in mothballs, because they're being replaced as soon as possible anyway. And the whole Lawrence class probably will go in reserve. The most modern ones will keep operational, and that is enough to keep the budget going for one month, which is not great. It got slashed a lot when the war ended. It should go back up soon. As far as the war goes next, Germany's got a nice fleet, but I don't think there's really any point to a war with it. It is nothing that we want. It's really only Britain. I mean, we could technically take even more stuff from France, but it's pretty much got to be a new round of fighting with Britain. Maybe Russia, I guess, yeah. Or... Japan. There's a couple things we can take from Japan. Maybe Russia or Japan before Britain. I don't know. Oh, Doctrine. That's what I'm forgetting. That's part of why our budget's so bad. Doctrine. Hmm. We've sunk a Japanese fishing boat. Well, it was in a restricted area. Pretty sure I made the same mistake with the bell. I took all the tertiaries off of this, but did I optimize the AA? No. Okay, that was pretty easy. Is there anything else I'm neglecting here? No. Right. Please stop training. That will fix the budget mostly, actually, which is good. We're going to have to pause. Um, really? I mean, huh. Apparently, our budget is not really refreshed. Um. I'm just going to pause a destroyer to save the budget then. Everything is almost back to the east coast. Then I can put a couple more things into reserve. I notice that some of our destroyers are still in weird places because of repairs and things. We are starting to commission destroyers at a high rate. Okay, we're at 70.
And you're back on the East Coast into reserve. You're back on the East Coast into reserve. Saratoga's already in reserve. So many of these destroyers get stuck on the west coast when I put them in reserve, but that's honestly fine. It's still a home region. I don't know how. I think this one just got stuck there because of damage, but you could go ahead and come home. All right, and we're still just a little bit shy on the budget. But we should be able to keep it under control. And it's fixed itself a little bit. All right. Five months. The Illinois class will be completed, and then we can sort of finalize our battleship force for the time being and uh, get that last heavy cruiser built. And then at that point, well, heavy cruiser, battle cruiser, and then once those two are done, or even before, if budget allows, carriers. Probably going to build like half a dozen of them pretty quickly. It's almost the 1930s now, so it's definitely time. Captain Struble, a below-average speed enthusiast, overstrained the engines of USS Minnesota. Cashier him. I don't care if he's a speed enthusiast, if he's below average. And the budget's fixed again. Fantastic. How much is it going to cost me to build a Rochester? Too much per month. We're going to have to wait a little bit for the Illinois to be finished realistically. Oh, yeah. And they don't all have... Wait, hang on. We have advanced directors, which I'm sure I knew when we developed them, but uh, none of our battleships have those installed, so we're going to need to do retrofits for those real quick also. Uh, as soon as we have the money. Starting with the older ships, I guess. Although, actually, no. I just said I was going to scrap those two, so... Not those two. But this one, yes. And her machinery... Eh, all of these... Even the Minnesota... God, I guess this Minnesota is nearly 10 years old, huh? That's kind of wild, considering she's still easily one of the most powerful battleships in the world. But the 1920s have not been... Almost nobody has completed any battleships in the last, like, four years, actually, which is certainly interesting. Anyway, Delaware. Advanced director. Hmm, if we're planning on keeping her in service, then... I don't think that's even worth it, honestly. Let's just slap an advanced director on her and call it a day. Oh, that's notable, though. And kind of important for how limited those guns are. All right.
We're gonna have to get all these rebuilds done also before we uh, build all the new ships. So that'll be, I don't know, it'll probably only be about six months of delays or something, because fixed on AA barrage, but her heavy AA effectiveness. Um, the cost of refitting everything will not be that high compared to the cost of building the new stuff. Yeah, we do have way too many destroyers in service now. Um, three, whoops, six, nine, nine Gwyn class destroyers scrapped. We are, we've got four left now. We've got four Winslow's buildings, so I did do that math right. And we have, by tonnage, the biggest destroyer force in the world, although some powers have more than us by number. We also have the biggest light cruiser force in the world by tonnage. And the only one who exceeds Spain? Spain is building three 20,000 ton heavy cruisers right now. Although it looks like they're already a year behind schedule. Good for Spain, I guess. Considering they have no battleships with more than 13-inch guns, I'm not sure that's the optimal way to... Well, maybe it is the optimal way to spend their funds, honestly. They should probably just give up on building capital ships. Considering they're not even close to building, you know, good ones. Okay, USS Illinois and USS North Dakota have been commissioned. Ohio and Montana will be ready next month. As you can see, we have a bunch of money free all of a sudden, which we're going to need to use to rebuild all of our ships first. Um, advanced Director. I think Kentucky still have all these 12-inch tertiaries. Possible to get better? No, okay. I'm just gonna take them all off and like centralize the secondary battery because I really think that's better for the most part. Okay. Let's rebuild the four of you. That's going to cost a bunch of money, but only for three months. So let's just put the Minnesotas into refit while we're at it. And then all the uh, battleships will be under control. Advanced Director. They don't have that gun problem, at least. I could take these off, although I don't even know what good... Th oh! They have no AA. That's a problem, actually. I didn't even check the others, but uh, the others might not last until we get to a war with aircraft anyway. These are going to need some AA. Okay, more expensive refit than I was anticipating for the Minnesotas, but it's actually still only a three-month refit, to be fair. Montana and Ohio commissioned. Okay, I don't really feel like there was a displacement limit for light cruisers that I was aware of, but maybe there was one in the background of like 8,000 tons. I don't recall there being one by treaty. All right, so all four Illinois class are now uh, being rebuilt. The Kentuckys do have no AA, huh? They should probably get some. Not going to lie, it is almost the 1930s now, but we'll probably survive. The Saratogas are going to stay in service for a little while, so we should 
get them the advanced director, probably the third fire control position, increased elevation, and hmm, maybe scrap that so that I have enough weight to toss some AA in. Oof. They do not have enough spare weight to really put a lot of AA on, though. Yeah, we're going to have to sacrifice uh, at least one. We're going to sacrifice a couple of those secondary guns to get a... Nice little AA battery installed. No, don't reclassify as battleship. It makes 28 knots. It's not a battleship. Nobody is building 28 knot battleships in 1928. And lastly, the constellations. Advanced director. Take off these. Oh man, these are going to be an annoying hodgepodge, whether they have those on or not. I bet I could have taken those off the Saratogas too. And that would have been a better way of making the free space. I'm just doing this too quickly without really thinking about it. Yeah. I'm not really clear on what the actual balance between these should be. Or is in game, that is, but, uh. Ooh. Man, I am overlooking stuff here. That's not enough overweight for me to worry about. P proportional to how gigantic the ship is. What? Oh, God. One of them is a separate rebuild design than the other two for some reason. I don't even know why, but... Okay, let's see if we can remember all the things that I did to the last one without... I think that's exactly the same, yeah. I'm really not even clear what was technically different between the two. But something was, I think. I guess. All right. Three months of rebuilding. And then we can lay down our new heavy cruiser battle cruiser. Yeah, send our most powerful ships in the world to cruise, why not? Yeah, three months rebuilding. Then we can lay down our new heavy cruiser and battle cruiser. And then we're going to that's a lot of reconstruction. Alright. Let's get you back in reserve. Saratogas haven't returned yet. Three more Winslows finished, so I will decommission three more Gwyns. And we have a huge positive budget, sur uh, budget surplus, so let's build Rochester, and let's build Congress. And now we have no budget surplus. But as soon as these rebuilds are done, we will again. Ah, finally, decent 8-inch guns. That's why all of the heavy cruisers have 9-inch guns, you know, because we never got decent 8-inch guns until now. All right, so here's the situation. We've got 14 battleships. I'm going to scrap Oregon and South Carolina because, well, they would need a heavy refit to even be kind of decent. And 
without replacing the 12 inch guns, they're just never going to be that good. I mean, they're 20, almost 20 years old now, sadly. Um, Oregon here fought three times against the British Navy and once against the French Navy, sort of. Well, actually, she landed a pretty decent number of hits on much more modern French battleships. Three big battles with the British landed for 56 main battery hits on British capital ships. Not bad. And South Carolina here fought in the same three battles, landed 71 main battery hits. Didn't fight in the recent war with France at all. Definitely both excellent ships. Or pretty good ships. Yeah. Arguably our first proper dreadnoughts. Very much did the job for their time, but quite obsolete now. We're going to go ahead and scrap them. Free up some money. So we can get this whole Illinois class operating. These are probably the first, or probably arguably our only battleships that actually have enough deck armor to be really good in modern warfare. Their problem compared to later battleships is going to be that they're not very fast. But honestly, I'll accept that for having the heavy armament and armor. Why did I leave three-inch dual-purpose guns on them? Whatever. At least they have actual AA to start with. Hmm. Gonna need to reorganize divisions soon, but... It's not really a priority as long as we're not in a war. So we've got 12 battleships, we've got 5 battle cruisers, one replacement is on the way. We've got 5 heavy cruisers, and one more is on the way. 12 light cruisers, 70 destroyers, and we're about to replace the last one. What do we need now? An aircraft carrier. A lot of the world's navies have built one already. The, almost all of them have way more light carriers than me. Up to this point, they haven't been decisive. But they very well could be in the next war. We're going to need to let build probably like... I could see myself building like half a dozen. We'll see what the budget allows. Um, but that is going to be in the next episode. For now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a like or subscribing. And have a nice day. See you, Lord Agenda. Signing off.